Hello, everybody. My name is Incon. I've been a content creator over on Twitch for over a decade now, and I want to give you some tips on how you can better hit your goals using stream element sponsorships as somebody who has completed dozens of them over the past few years. Utilizing stream element sponsorships is a great way to add some extra revenue to your stream. It's important as a content creator to have your hand in as many pots as possible to make sure you have as many revenue streams coming your way so that way you can go from streaming being a hobby to a full-time job. In order to find your stream element sponsorships, make sure you go ahead to your stream elements dashboard. You're gonna to wanna to check underneath that revenue tab and there will be a sponsorship section right there for you. Make sure you are checking every couple of days. Sometimes something might come through last minute and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you check so you don't miss out on an opportunity. Also make sure you're checking your emails as well. Stream elements will send you an email to let you know if a sponsorship has come up. So that way you've got two places that you can check where you might be getting some information. Tip number one is to have incentives for reaching goals. Hypothetically, let's say you've got a goal for 10 downloads, 25 downloads, and 50 downloads of a game. Go ahead and put an incentive for your community at each one of those tiers tailored towards something you know your community would like. You might be you cosplaying. It might be eating a spicy food. It might be doing a silly in-game challenge for the main game that you play. You know your community better than anybody, so go ahead and set incentives. Let them know about those incentives. Put it in a command. Say it out loud when you're doing your sponsorship integrations, and that way your community will be more likely to help you reach those goals, making you happy, your sponsor happy, and your wallet happy. Tip number two is going to be be prepared. This one might seem obvious, but you'd be a little bit surprised. Sometimes a sponsor will have a specific verbiage that they want you to use or a couple of key points they want you to hit a couple of times. Go ahead and make sure you do review those points beforehand and try to memorize them the best that you can. It's a lot more engaging with your community if you're just kind of spitballing and talking off of your head without necessarily needing to just like beam and look at a script over and over again to know every word to say. If you can start to get it out authentically, if you can start to vibe off of it, you say their thing and then you kind of segue into something that's all your own, your community is gonna engage a lot more with that if they don't, don't just think you're like, I'm going to read off script now. Tip number three is to have fun with it. Feel free to get a little silly. Feel free to do a funny segue like you would see on a local TV commercial. People like when you get fun with it. They like when you get silly with it. If they feel like you're just doing it to get the money, they're not gonna interact with it as much. They wanna know that you actually enjoy the product, that you're actually having a good time and that you wanna be there. Tip number four is knowing exactly when to integrate that sponsorship to your community during your stream. You're gonna wanna look at your analytics for this and look when your peak viewership is. That is when you're gonna wanna switch over and do your sponsored content. The more people that you have watching, the better chance that people are gonna click on that link, help you out through a download, through a purchase, whatever it may be. You don't wanna do a sponsored segment right when your stream goes live and you typically don't wanna do it right before you're gonna have to leave. Chances are somewhere in the middle is where you're gonna find that sweet spot, but every content creator is gonna be a little different, so check your analytics to see when that peak viewership is and that's your sweet spot. Tip number five is gonna be to be honest with your community. Let them know exactly what you were trying to achieve, whether it is amount of downloads, perhaps for a mobile game, maybe it's orders of a food box for a food service. Doesn't matter what it is, let them know exactly what the goal is and how they can help you get there and how much it is going to help your community. Maybe it'll lead to a giveaway, maybe it'll lead to you getting a new camera or a microphone. Let them know how much it means to you and how much it will help. Hopefully this has given you a better idea on how you can crush those stream elements sponsorship campaign goals, which is gonna give you some extra revenue in your pocket. And remember, the better you do on each individual sponsorship, the more likely you are to get them in the future as well.